Namaste, I'm Ishihara, RD manager from Oriental East Company. Uh, through this series of videos, I will introduce Japanese breads inspired from Indian flavors. Uh, did you know in Japan, bakers make variety of breads with different shapes and fillings? Today, I will show you how to make Japanese curry bun. Curry buns have a savory, juicy curry filling and a crunchy texture that's been waiting hard since 1927. The ingredients you'll need to bake the dough are flour, Kobo compressed fresh yeast, j 1000 bread improver, salt, sugar, butter or margarine and water at 30 degrees Celsius. And don't forget panko or breadcrumbs to coat your bun. You can fill the buns with any curry filling of your choice but a hard non-paste is recommended. Begin by adding all the ingredients to your stand mixture. Turn on the bread dough setting and let it run until your dough is smooth and elastic. Once your dough is ready, roll it out into circles and fill 50 grams of dough with 30 grams of curry filling. Then gather the opposing edges of the circle and fold the dough in half. Make sure to wrap the filling completely to avoid any leaks. Here's a tip. Prepare the filling ahead of time to reduce moisture content. Once all your dough is filled, give it a warm water soak, then coat it generously with breadcrumbs. Now let them rest for 30 to 40 minutes until they nearly double in size. Heat your oil to 180 degrees Celsius and fry the buns for 2 minutes on each side. The trick here is to adjust the time to get that perfect uniform color on both sides. And there you have it, warm, crispy and chewy curry buns. Enjoy them, hot and fresh. Namaste, I'm Ishihara, RD manager from Oriental East Company. Uh, through this series of videos,